Well, my kid's dad is in the hospital because nobody doesn't tell me anything what's going on. They don't tell me about my kids. They don't say nothing about nothing about what's going on in the situations about their schooling. They hear this ask for money when they want to. They don't let me know nothing about the situation. And it's ridiculous. And this is why I don't care anymore about anything. I don't have no Christians to uplift me or nothing. Out here by myself, no church around. It's ridiculous. I can't even walk anywhere because they're working on everything. I'm not even gonna be able to walk probably pretty soon what they're doing to the roads. Messing the roads up. They don't have a payment for people to walk. I don't know how I'm gonna get outside. Tired sticking in that darn shelter all the time, man. Nowhere to walk. I do not know what they're doing to the roads, but this is ridiculous. and it keeps making the um, ground wetter, muddier. Um, that's why I can't get out because of the rain. I'm about to move to like California or something where it doesn't get cold outside. I did not know it gets cold here like this. I pray that God sends me somewhere, somewhere preventable where I can walk around and stuff. Here is not happening. They went on um, a group to transcript, um, but I didn't want to be in the car with all the people like they're stressing me out.
Uh, when I get that apartment, um, that called me, but I don't know how I'm gonna go see it because these people are not doing what they're supposed to do, scheduling me rides to get where I need to go. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, how to get out there. I tried to ask that guy to take me out there because I don't have no other resources. Um, and he's talking about, um, well, I could have stayed over at his house. And then he added on, are you going to give me some hot sex? I'm like, that guy has a lot of nerve to be asking me that when I'm in the predicament trying to get help. And he's trying to get something out of me for helping me, which is not even help. And I'm like, people like that need to be locked up and throw away the key. Because... I don't know. He needs to be locked up because he's nothing but a dog. Trash. Seven year old man. Desperate. I'm like, no, I don't feel comfortable going to your house or being around you. And I'm not going to be around you no more because we're on the same, we're not on the same page as me. I'm trying to like focus on my stuff, trying to get help. Um, I'm trying to focus on my priorities, trying to get an apartment, trying to get situated and find people that really want to help me. And you're not trying to help me. You're trying to look for other things as return of helping me, which is not help at all. And so I'm like, I don't want to talk to you no more. I need to cut you off. That's what I'm like. A lot of these guys want to have sex. They're getting that. We think that they're helping you out, but they want to have sex with you. And that's not what I'm looking for. I don't know what this guy is like sitting right there, a car right there, sitting there, probably waiting to ask. Hey, do you need a ride? <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, uh, looks like a black guy. That's a white guy. He drove off. That's weird. It is muddy. They need to put something down so people can walk. But God is showing me things. That stuff happened. That's weird.
here. buying me food and stuff like that um driving me around to places i need to go um he bought me clothes even though i know what he was thinking for buying the clothes I wasn't expecting that because I thought he was helping me and I should have knew better but I was taking the chances as getting stuff I need because I'm homeless and plus my aunt is not talking to me so I have no family I never had family. Um, I'm just out here by myself. Um, they was never there for me. They talked to me then and there, my mom, but she's never there for me. Um, my aunt was never there for me, so I don't expect her to be in there for me. I don't know where all these cars is coming from. Alabama um um my aunt was never there for me she was like separated from different family members and whatever so I only got in touch with her because of my grandma and then I started calling her because she said she wanted to talk to me and stuff like that and she was telling me about Tennessee and so I was like yeah maybe it's gonna work out I have a close relationship with my aunt but no it didn't work out stupid stuff happened that wasn't even worth not talking to me about but she chose not to talk to me because of the situation of my decision that I made as that one time of situation weird but that's how it is she is not real so I'm still working on my apartment trying to get one I have to come out with the money for an apartment I don't have I get paid, but I have to come up the other part, security deposit. Security deposit, okay. Um, they gave me some agencies to see if I can get help with the security deposit. This is ridiculous. You see what I'm talking about? It's muddy, it's nowhere to walk out here. Like I can't stay out in this, in this area. And stay in the shelter all my life like it's a prison and the weather keeps raining this is a horrible place to live
all the water from the rain. Talk to you later.